option is j o y is equals to integral minus 1 to 0 and this functional and uh, initial condition is uh, y at 0 is equals to 0 and uh, y at minus 1 is equals to 1 and options uh, are uh, minus x cube x square and this now for this question actually we have to find out uh, extremal for this given question now for uh, uh, for extremal we use uh, Euler necessary equation for this question that is uh, curl f upon curl y minus d, of, uh, d upon dx of uh, curl f upon curl y prime which is equals to 0 uh, using this equation uh, as f as functionally is equals to 12 x y minus y prime square now uh, curl f upon curl y is equals to 12 x and uh, curl f upon curl y prime is equals to minus 2 y prime now using equation 1 that is a uh, Euler necessary equation we have 12 x minus d upon dx of minus 2 y prime is equals to 0 now using differentiation we have 12 x plus 2 y double prime is equals to 0 now to common out and cancel out so we have y double prime plus 6 x is equals to 0 and now written and the equation this form now uh, using integration on both side we have y prime is equals to minus 6 x square upon 2 plus constant where a is a arbitrary constant and again integration with respect to x we have y is equals to minus x cube plus ax plus b where a and b are arbitrary constant now using initial uh, in initial conditions we have y at 0 is equals to 0 uh, this implies that b is equals to 0 and again y at minus 1 is equals to 1 this implies that 1 is equals to minus or minus 1 plus a minus 1 this implies that a is equals to 0 now you uh, putting the value of a and b in equation star and we have y is equals to minus x cube uh, so for this question uh, answer is answer will be minus x cube and these options are incorrect now come to next memory based question that is uh, we have given that uh, second order uh, linear differential equation in which uh, a into u double x plus b into u x y plus a u into x y y is equals to zero and a and a and b are belongs to set of real number and now we have to find out the reason that is hyperbolic parabolic elliptic and hyperbolic these options actually are misprint so pairing this given equation with the general second order differential equation we have r is equals to a s is equals to b and t is equals to a now using a, a standard equation for uh, find out the nature of the reason that is s square minus 4 rt which is equals to b square minus 4 a square now our condition is for elliptic reason s square minus 4 rt should be less than 0 this implies that b square minus 4 a square less than 0 this implies that b square less than 4 a square and this implies that in mathematics can be written as this form and this implies that uh, mode of b less than 2 time of mode of a uh, now we check and uh, our result match with this equation given option so option a is correct I also verify that uh, for hyperbolic s square minus 4 rt greater than 0 which implies that mod of b greater than 2 time of mod of a uh, this implies that this incorrect and uh, is not given so cut out and now for parabolic s square minus 4 rt is equals to 0 this implies that b square minus 4 a square is equals to 0 and further calculation mode of b is equals to 2 time of mode of a and in given option we have this inequality so option so option for this question option c is correct now come to next memory based question that is uh, we have given that uh, x uh, is a connected metric space such that uh, cardinality of this uh, space is uh, at least 2 that is uh, cardinality of this is greater than equals to 2 now in question we have to ask that which of the flowing are necessary true and given options are cardinality of x is equals to 0 cardinality of x is uh, elif naught and cardinality of uh, x greater than equals to continuum and option d cardinality of x is equals to 2 
Now we have given that uh, x is a connected matrix space such that cardinality of x is this. Now, uh, if this if it's have uh, already two elements or more elements, so we let a comma b belongs to x. Uh, as this is a x is a connected matrix space, this implies that uh, any convex linear combination of uh, a comma b belongs to x uh, must belongs to x. Uh, we also let uh, x is equals to set of uh, real line. Uh, this implies that uh, x has at least uncountable number of element. This implies that cardinality of x is greater than or equals to c. Uh, so for this question. Uh, option C is correct and option A, B and A and D are incorrect. Actually, any convex linear combination is work like a like segment which contain uncountable number of points of metric space. That's why option C is correct. Come to next memory based question that is uh, uh, let cardinality of G is 168 and G is a simple group. Actually, simple group implies that uh, G have no proper normal subgroup that is normal subgroup normal subgroup of g r g and this only now in question we have to ask about how many elements of uh, uh, orders how many element of order 7 in g now as we know that cardinality of g is 168 now fraction uh, fraction this uh, number and uh, Actually, we have to find out here order seven element. So we concentrate on this number. Uh, using CELO first theorem, this implies that G has a CELO subgroup, CELO seven subgroup, and uh, its order will be seven because its higher power is one. Now, using the CELO third theorem, uh, we have a number of uh, seven CELO subgroup in the form of one plus seven M, where M belongs to zero, one, two, three and so on and uh, 1 plus 7 m divide order of g as uh, order of g is 168 this implies that 1 plus 7 m uh, 1 plus 7 m divide 168 that is 2 power 3 into 3 into 7 as we know that uh, from number theory 1 plus 7 common 7 is gc is 1 so using ghost lemma 1 plus 7 m divide 2 power 3 into 3 and this implies that 1 plus 7 m divide 24 uh, this implies that uh, 1 plus m and 7 m should be 1 or 8. Now come to if uh, 1 plus 7 m is equals to 1, this implies that uh, uh, CELO 7 subgroup is unique. Uh, so using result, uh, CELO 7 subgroup of order 7 is normal. Uh, this is incorrect because G is a simple group given. So this case not possible now 1 plus 7 should be 8 that is there are 8 silo subgroup in g and uh, as we know that in a uh, 7 silo 7 silo subgroup of order 7 that is order 7 order 7 group that is prime order group uh, it's have uh, 6 element of order 7 now for uh, 8 cell uh, 7 silo subgroup it have a uh, 48 element of order 7 this implies that uh, g has a uh, 48 element of order 7 now come to options uh, option a b c are incorrect and option 5 is actually depend on a convergent and divergent series question that is uh, for a given series we have to find out the value of abc such that the given series is not convergent actually this is a part b question uh, so for given options i will explain one by one uh, for given option a comma b we use Cauchy condensation test that is using this test this series is convergent and for option d using Leibniz test this series is again convergent because this is an alternative series and uh, and uh, satisfy all the condition of Leibniz test that is convergent actually for option c that is a is equals to 1 and b this and c less than 1 our given series is reduces this form and this now using firstly Cauchy condensation test and secondly Cauchy root test this series is divergent for this interval this implies that option b and b are incorrect and option d incorrect so and option c is correct now come to next question 
actually this question also based on a convergent and divergent series uh, for this series a n is equals to n plus 1 upon n and uh, we take this term as b n for sake of convenience that is b n is equals to minus 1 power n plus 1 and this term and we have to find convergent convergent divergent and convergent now come to explanation uh, as a n this so a n plus 1 is equals to n plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus 1 and b n equals to this form we arrange the terms such that this plus this now again simplify these terms in three terms that is 1 2 and 3 and uh, apply summation on these three terms and we get 1 minus 1 plus 1 upon 2 factorial minus 1 upon 3 factorial and so on for second series 1 minus 2 factorial plus 1 up plus 3 factorial minus 1 upon 4 factorial dash and for third series 1 upon 2 factorial minus 1 upon 3 factorial plus 1 upon 4 factorial and so on as we know the expansion of e power minus x which is equals to 1 minus x plus x square upon 2 factorial minus x cube upon 3 factorial and so on apply put x is equals to 1 and we get this this and this expansion one by one this implies this expansion is equals to e power minus 1 and this minus e power minus 1 plus 1 and this e power minus 1 and uh, combining this under summation we get cancel out and uh, left e power minus 1 plus 1 now come to options uh, option b c and d are incorrect and option a is correct actually this is a part b question the question is for alpha greater than equals to 0 a n is defined as 1 power alpha plus 2 power alpha up to n power alpha upon n power alpha plus 1 and in this question we have to find out the limit of a n as n tend to infinity uh, actually these are uh, memory based options uh, for this question a n is equals to this now we arrange the terms such that a n is equals to 1 upon n power alpha plus 1 as it is into summation on the series summation of r power alpha where r goes to 1 to n now uh, we erase the term again that is a n is equals to 1 upon n uh, summation of r upon n power alpha where r 1 to n now according to given question limit because we have to find out limit of a n not a n so limit uh, of uh, a n as n tend to infinity is equals to limit n tend to infinity of 1 upon n summation of this where alpha is greater than or equals to 0 this is very important point for this question now using sum of series technique in a real analysis that is 1 upon n uh, equals to dx and r upon n equals to x and this uh, this summation tends to integral where for this integral lower limit and upper limit that is a is equals to limit n tend to limit n tend to infinity of 1 upon n n is fixed uh, this one is value of r is equals to 1 in this summation and for upper limit that is b is equals to upper limit of this integral is limit n tend to in infinity this n is fixed and this n come from r is equals to n of this series that is n upon n n tend to infinity is equals to 1 now come to further explanation uh, n tend to infinity of a n is equals to integral of 0 to 1 x power alpha dx now using uh, standard uh, integration this is equals to x power alpha plus 1 upon alpha plus 1 and low, uh, lower limit 0 and upper limit 1 when this we operate this limit on this integral uh, we have 1 upon alpha plus 1 minus 0 that is 1 upon alpha plus 1 so answer of this question is 1 upon alpha plus 1 now come to options uh, for this question option A incorrect option B incorrect option C incorrect and option D is 
correct you are net and uh, in this question a is a n cross n matrix whose entries from r and also given that uh, rank of uh, a power n square is equals to 0 where n is greater than equals to 2 now in this question we have to find out uh, the characteristic of a such that uh, a has n li eigenvector now options a not equals to 0 matrix a is a 0 matrix rank of a not equals to 0 and option d none of these uh, for this question uh, as we know that a is a n cross n matrix whose entries from r and uh, rank of uh, uh, rank of uh, a power n square is equals to 0 this implies that uh, rank of a power n is equals to 0 because a is a n cross n matrix this is also a direct result uh, as we know that uh, if rank of a matrix is 0 this implies that uh, that matrix is equals to 0 and by using definition of a uh, nil potent matrix a is a nil potent matrix here say this equation but uh, in a given question uh, we have given that uh, a has an linearly independent eigenvector this implies that uh, a is a diagonalizable matrix say 2 uh, from 1 and 2 this implies that uh, a is a zero matrix and uh, from the given option option a is incorrect because we have according to given question a is a zero matrix and option b is correct uh, option c rank of a not equal to zero as you know that if a matrix is zero then rank of that matrix is zero so option c is incorrect and option d incorrect now come to next memory based question that is uh, it's a part c question and in this question we have given that uh, limit superior of a n is equals to minus limit superior uh, limit inferior of a n actually it's uh, other version is limit superior of a n is equals to minus limit inferior of a n now in this question which of the following options satisfy star equation option is a n is equals to 1 upon n a n is equals to minus power n into 1 plus 1 upon n and third option a n is equals to 1 plus minus 1 power n upon n and option d is a n is an enumeration of all rational numbers in open interval minus 1 to 1 now come to explanation uh, for option a as we know that a n is equals to 1 upon n limit n tend to infinity of a n is equals to 0 this implies that sequence 1 upon a n is convergent sequence and this implies that it's a limit superior and limits inferior are equal and r equals to limit that is l so in this case uh, from star limit superior 0 equals to minus limit inferior this implies that this is true so our option a is correct for according to given question and for option b an is equals to minus 1 power n into 1 plus 1 upon n uh, in this question just use definition of a limit superior and limit inferior as you know very well and this implies that uh, limit superior of an is equals to 1 and uh, and limit inferior of an is equals to minus n minus 1 <coughs> and uh, limit inferior of an is equals to minus 1 and now from star limit superior equals to minus of limit inferior this implies that 1 is equals to 1 that is true so according to given question option b is also correct now come to option c that is a n is equals to 1 plus minus 1 power n upon n in this case when you apply limit n tend to infinity this is equals to 1 that is it's a convergent sequence and we know that in a convergent sequence limit superior and limit inferior are equal and equals to limit that is l uh, so from star this implies that limit superior equals to minus of limit inferior uh, but uh, we know that one not equals to minus one so false so according to given question option c is incorrect now come to option d that is uh, we have given that uh, an is a sequence that is a enumeration of uh, all rational number in open interval minus one to one now uh, as we know the concept of uh, enumeration of a rational number uh, 
symbolizes that uh, there exists a subsequence of a n which converts to one, and there exists a subsequence of a n which converts to minus one. Now this implies that uh, limit superior equals to one, and limit inferior of uh, this a n is equals to minus one. So from star. This implies that limit superior equals to minus of limit inferior. This implies that one is equals to one. That is true. So this implies that option D is also correct. Now come to again options. That is option A is true according to given question. Option B is also correct, and option C incorrect, and option D is correct. And uh, question eleven. This is a part B question, and in this question we have given that A is a three cross three real symmetric matrix, and the corresponding quadratic form is given. And now in this question we have to find out three option, and option C is if A i comma i greater than zero for all i, this implies that for a matrix A, its uh, diagonal entries are greater than zero, then Q is a positive definite form, and option B if uh, i comma j greater than zero for all i j where i not equals to j then q is a positive definite form and uh, option c and d are converse of option a and b now come to its solution part uh, for option a we take a matrix such that its uh, diagonal entries are positive and a is a symmetric matrix also real symmetric matrix that is and uh, for this matrix uh, we know that uh, lambda is equals to minus 1 is a eigen value Because uh, as we know that for uh, eigen value a minus uh, that is the determinant of uh, a minus lambda i equals to zero for lambda is eigen value this implies that uh, determinant of a plus i is equals to zero we can verify from here now as we know that uh, a, a real symmetric matrix is positive definite matrix if and only if its uh, all eigen value are positive and uh, for this matrix. Uh, Uh, eigen value is uh, negative this implies that uh, a is a not positive definite matrix and this implies that corresponding quadratic form is not positive definite so option a is incorrect now come to option b uh, for option b we take a matrix 3 uh, cross 3 actually this is a real symmetric matrix and according to given condition in options uh, a i comma j greater than 0 for all i j such that i not equals to j we notice that uh, eigen value of this uh, a matrix is a 0 3 0 this implies that a cannot be positive definite matrix because a real symmetric pos uh, matrix is a positive definite matrix if and only if its all eigen value are positive but this eigen uh, but its uh, eigen value are uh, not positive so this implies that a cannot be positive definite matrix this implies that corresponding quadratic form is not positive definite this implies that option b is incorrect now come to option c uh, for option c we take a matrix a such that 3 cross 3 matrix and real symmetric matrix as we know that eigen value of this uh, diagonal 3 cross 3 matrix are 1 2 Two, which are greater than zero. This implies that A is a positive definite matrix according to definition of positive definite, because A is a symmetric matrix plus its all eigen value are positive. And this implies that its corresponding quadratic form is also positive definite form. But A i comma j greater than zero. This condition falls because uh, we can take uh, A one comma two is equals to zero. this implies that option c is also incorrect now come to option again that is option a is incorrect option b incorrect and option c incorrect so rest option that is option d is true actually this is a direct uh, result because if q is that it's a corresponding uh, real symmetric matrix c is also positive definite and this implies that it's a uh diagonal entries are strictly positive so option d is correct now come to to uh, next question of this memory based series that is let uh, a is a 5 cross 5 matrix whose entries from field f that is uh, entries can be from q r and c now such that uh, a inverse exist this implies that a is invertible matrix a is 
invertible matrix so uh, in this question we have given that uh, suppose that uh, uh, characteristic polynomial of a is equals to characteristic polynomial of a inverse then uh, which of the following is necessarily true and options are determinant of a square is equals to 1 determinant of power 5 is equals to 1 trace of a power 2 is equals to 1 trace of a of power 5 is equals to 1 now come to explanation part as we know that uh, a is a 5 cross 5 matrix and characteristic polynomial of A is equals to characteristic polynomial of A inverse. Uh, this implies that uh, eigenvalue of A and A inverse are same. By using uh, properties of eigenvalue, trace and determinant, this implies that trace of A is equals to trace of A inverse and determinant of A is equals to determinant of A inverse. Say this one and this two. Now, as we know that uh, a into a inverse is equals to identity matrix if a inverse exists is a well defined result so apply determinant both side this is this is equals to determinant of a into determinant of a inverse is equals to 1 this implies that determinant of a inverse is equals to 1 upon determinant of a now from 2 we have determinant of a is equals to determinant of a inverse already uh, using this equation this implies that uh, uh, determinant of a is equals to 1 upon determinant of a uh, this cross under cross multiplication this implies that uh, uh, determinant of a whole square is equals to 1 this implies that uh, in general option a is correct and option b c and d are incorrect now also explain rest options determinant of a we have 5 power of a. determinant of a is equals to determinant of a as we know that uh, square of determinant of a is equals to 1 implies determinant of a is equals to plus minus 1 so this is just plus minus 1 which in general not equals to 1 so option b is incorrect uh, now for option c and d let take a matrix such that eigenvalue of a is equals to 1 1 1 iota minus iota now this implies that eigenvalue of uh, a inverse is equals to 1 1 1 iota minus iota so trace of a is equals to 1 plus 1 plus 1 iota minus iota which is equals to 3 now for option c trace of uh, square uh, square of a trace of a is equals to 3 power 2 which is equals to 9 which cannot be equals to 1 so option c incorrect uh, for option D, uh, 5 power of trace of A is equals to 3 power 5 which cannot be equals to 1 so again option D is incorrect. Actually this is a part B question and in given question A and N, B and R two bounded sequences in R then which of the following option is true. Uh, we have this four option in which we have to find out correct one. Now come that is as we know that uh, sequence A and, and sequence B and R bounded sequence in R this implies that uh, using definition of a bounded sequence there exists N1 uh, such that mode of An less than equals to K1 and there exists N2 such that mode of Bn less than equals to K2. Now uh, as we know that this inequality that is mode of an plus minus 1 power n bn mode less than equals to mode of an plus mode of this and now again simplify this that is this less than equals to mode of an plus mode of bn uh, now using 1 and 2 that is uh, mode of a an less than equals to k1 and mode of bn less than equals to k2 this implies that uh, uh, mode of this sequence uh, less than equals to uh, k1 plus k2 this implies that uh, this sequence is bounded sequence and in real analysis we know that uh, if a sequence is bounded then its uh, limit superior and limit inferior must exist so using this result we can say that uh, option a is incorrect because in given option uh, we have given that uh, limit superior of this may not exist so this option incorrect now come to next option for option b uh, option in option b we have given that limit superior of uh, an plus uh, minus 1 power n into bn 
equals to limit superior of a n plus mod of limit superior of b n now uh, for this option we take a counter example that is a n is equals to minus 1 power n plus 1 and b n is equals to 1 now using these two uh, sequences uh, a n plus minus 1 power b n sequence convert to null sequence and we know that limit superior of uh, null sequence is 0 and using these sequences uh, limit superior of uh, an is equals to 1 and limit superior of bn is equals to 1 now uh, putting these uh, values in a given option in quality that is 0 equals to 1 plus mode 1 this implies that 0 is equals to 2 which is impossible this implies that option b is incorrect now come to option c uh, and in option c we have given that this inequality now for this inequality we take counter example that is we take a sequence a n is equals to null sequence and a sequence b n is equals to constant sequence where constant is equals to minus 5 now using these two sequence we have a limit superior of a n is equals to 0 and limit superior of uh, this constant sequence is equals to minus 5 now uh, now using these two uh, sequences our sequence a n plus uh, minus 1 power n into b n sequence converted to minus 1 power n into minus 5 as we know that uh, limit superior of uh, this sequence that is this sequence is equals to 5 uh, now putting this uh, value of this uh, superior of sequences uh, in this given inequality we have uh, 5 less than equals to 0 minus 5 this implies that 5 less than equals to minus 5 this is impossible uh, this implies that uh, option c is again incorrect now come to option option 1 is incorrect option b incorrect option c incorrect so rest option that is option d is correct now come to uh, from part c question actually fz is equals to 1 minus z into e power z plus z square upon 2 uh, which further equals to 1 plus uh, this series expansion now in question which of the flowing are true we have to find out a true option from this four option now come to explanation as fz is equals to 1 minus z into e power z plus z square upon 2 now uh, apply product rule for differentiation uh, we get uh, fz is equals to e power z plus z square upon 2 into 1 minus z square minus 1 this minus 1 cancel with plus 1 and we left uh, f dash z is equals to minus z square into e power z plus z square upon 2 uh, so our option b is correct now come to further option plus 2 1 plus summation of uh, a n into z power n where n is equals to 1 to infinity we also written this uh, this form of fz is equals to this form where fz is equals to a0 plus a1z plus a2z power 2 plus a3z power 3 where a0 is equals to 1 now if fz is equals to this expression uh, we can say that uh, an must be equals to fn at z is equals to 0 upon n factorial where fn means nth derivative of f with respect to z uh, so using this result uh, we can find a1 and a2 that is a1 is equals to f1 at z is equals to 0 upon 1 factorial that is f1 at z is equals to 0 say equation 1 similarly a2 say equation 2 now as we know that uh, f dash z is equals to minus z power 2 into e power uh, z plus z square upon 2 uh, so in this way we also find f uh, double derivative of uh, with respect to z that is equals to e power z plus z square upon 2 into minus 2z minus z square minus z cube so uh, f uh, double derivative at z is equals to 0 is equals to 0 this implies that a2 is equals to 0 and uh, similarly f derivative at z is equals to 0 is 0 this implies that a1 is equals to 0 uh, from this two uh, this implies that a1 is equals to a2 which is equals to 0 uh, this implies that uh, a1 is equals to a2 so option a is correct uh, now a3 is equals to f3 at z is equals to 0 upon 3 factorial this implies that f3 at z is equals to 0 upon 6 as we know that 
एफ थ्री एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज माइनस टू दिस इज एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू एंड अपॉन सिक्स दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री एंड सोन दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट ए एन बिलोंग्स टू सेमी क्लोज इंटरवल दैट इज माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू जीरो फॉर एवरी एन बिलोंग्स टू सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट नाउ फॉर ऑप्शन डी समिशन ऑफ मोड ऑफ ए एन इज इक्वल्स टू ए मोड ऑफ ए टू प्लस मोड ऑफ ए थ्री अप टू सो एन नाउ फॉर दिस सीरीज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एन दैट इज इक्वल्स टू एफ एन एट जेड इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो अपॉन एन फैक्टोरियल सो यूजिंग दिस रिजल्ट ए टू इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो ए थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री एंड ए टू ए फोर इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अपॉन फोर एंड ए एन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अपॉन एन फॉर एवरी एन बिलोंग्स टू सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर सो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट दिस सीरीज इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन फोर प्लस वन अपॉन फाइव प्लस वन अपॉन सिक्स अप टू वन अपॉन ए एन एंड सो ऑन दिस सीरीज इक्वलेंस टू माइनस वन अपॉन एन वे हेयर एन इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री टू इन्फिनिटी एंड वी नो दैट बाई यूजिंग पी सीरीज टेस्ट दिस सीरीज इज डाइवर्जेंट दैट इज दिस समिशन ऑफ मोड ऑफ ए एन वे हेयर एन इज इक्वल्स टू 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 इन्फिनिटी दिस सीरीज इज डाइवर्जेंट सीरीज एंड इट्स सम ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन वन दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट ऑप्शन डी इज इन करेक्ट नाउ कम टू ऑप्शन अगेन Uh, option A is correct option B correct option C correct and option D incorrect